Introduction to Neurodivergence Neurodivergence is a term that encompasses a variety of neurological conditions that result in differences in how individuals think, learn, and experience the world. These conditions are not necessarily disorders, but rather alternative ways of processing information and interacting with the environment. Common types of neurodivergence include Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, Dyslexia, and Dyspraxia, among others. This lesson will explore neurodivergence from a psychological perspective, focusing on its significance, how it affects individuals, and how we can support neurodivergent people in society. 1. Defining neurodivergence The term, neurodivergent, was coined by sociologist Judy Singer in the late 1990s to highlight the social model of disability. Neurodivergence refers to individuals whose brain function and processing differ from what is typically expected in society. It is important to recognize that neurodivergence is not inherently a disorder but rather a part of the natural variation in human neurobiology. Conditions often included under the umbrella of neurodivergence are Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD, characterized by differences in social interaction, communication, and behavior. Individuals with ASD may have unique ways of processing sensory information. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, marked by symptoms such as inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. ADHD is often associated with strengths in creativity, multitasking, and heightened awareness in high-stress environments. Dyslexia. A learning disorder that affects reading, spelling, and writing. It is often associated with difficulties in decoding words but not necessarily with intelligence. Dyspraxia. Also known as developmental coordination disorder, it affects motor skill development, coordination, and spatial awareness. 2. Psychological understanding of neurodivergence Psychological theories and frameworks can help explain neurodivergence, focusing on how these conditions influence cognition, emotion, and behavior. Here's a breakdown of how neurodivergence is understood from a psychological perspective. Cognitive differences. Neurodivergent individuals may process information differently. For example, someone with ADHD may have an intensely active mind that struggles with filtering out distractions whereas an individual with ASD might exhibit intense focus on specific interests. These differences can offer unique cognitive strengths, such as problem-solving skills and innovative thinking. Emotional regulation. Many neurodivergent individuals face challenges in regulating emotions. For example, someone with ADHD may experience emotional dysregulation, which can lead to outbursts or feelings of being overwhelmed. On the other hand, Individuals with autism may experience heightened emotional responses due to sensory sensitivities or difficulties with social communication. Sensory sensitivities. Sensory processing issues are common in neurodivergent individuals, particularly those with ASD. These individuals may experience sensory overload or heightened sensitivity to stimuli like lights, sounds, or textures. This can make everyday situations, such as going to the grocery store or attending a social event, challenging. Strengths and abilities. It is essential to recognize that neurodivergent individuals possess unique strengths, including enhanced creativity, out-of-the-box thinking, heightened attention to detail, and the ability to hyper-focus on tasks. These traits can make individuals highly effective in specific fields, such as science, technology, and the arts. 3. The social model of disability and neurodivergence The social model of disability, as opposed to the medical model, asserts that disability arises not from the individual's condition but from society's failure to accommodate and adapt to these differences. For neurodivergent individuals, the challenges they face often stem from societal expectations and norms that do not account for their unique ways of thinking and functioning. For example, Traditional educational systems may not be equipped to support neurodivergent students, leading to struggles with academic performance. Similarly, workplace environments may not always be inclusive or understanding of neurodivergent employees, which can impact job satisfaction and productivity. By adopting a more inclusive and supportive approach, society can ensure that neurodivergent individuals have equal opportunities to thrive. 
4. Psychological Approaches to Supporting Neurodivergent Individuals There are several psychological approaches to supporting neurodivergent individuals that can help them navigate the world more effectively and achieve their full potential. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, CBT is a widely used therapeutic approach that can help neurodivergent individuals manage anxiety, depression, and other emotional challenges. For example, CBT can be adapted to teach skills for managing impulsivity in ADHD or improving social skills in individuals with ASD. Social Skills Training Social skills training is particularly useful for individuals with autism who may struggle with interpreting social cues or engaging in conversations. This can include role-playing and teaching specific strategies for navigating social interactions. Mindfulness and Relaxation Techniques Mindfulness practices can help neurodivergent individuals manage sensory overload, regulate emotions, and improve focus. These practices are especially useful for those with ADHD or anxiety. Environmental modifications. Tailoring environments to better suit the needs of neurodivergent individuals is crucial. This might include creating quiet spaces to reduce sensory overload or offering flexible work hours to accommodate attention issues. Strengths-based approaches. Focusing on the strengths of neurodivergent individuals, rather than just their challenges, can help to build self-esteem and increase motivation. For instance, individuals with ADHD might excel in creative problem-solving, while those with ASD may demonstrate extraordinary attention to detail. 5. Supporting neurodivergent people in society. In society, there are several ways we can support neurodivergent individuals. Education. Schools can implement neurodiversity-affirming practices that offer individualized learning experiences, such as offering extra time for exams or providing sensory breaks throughout the day. Workplaces. Employers can create inclusive work environments by offering flexibility in tasks, communication, and office setups. Training on neurodiversity for colleagues can promote understanding and reduce stigma. Community engagement. Creating spaces for neurodivergent individuals to connect with one another helps foster a sense of belonging. Support groups, online forums, and advocacy organizations provide valuable platforms for sharing experiences and resources. Advocacy and policy change. Advocating for policies that support neurodivergent individuals is crucial in promoting greater inclusion and reducing discrimination. Legal protections for neurodivergent people in the workplace and education are vital in ensuring equal opportunities. Conclusion Neurodivergence is an essential aspect of human diversity. Understanding it from a psychological standpoint helps dismantle harmful stereotypes and encourages a more inclusive society. Recognizing the cognitive, emotional, and sensory differences of neurodivergent individuals allows for better support and acceptance. By adopting a strengths-based approach and making accommodations in various settings, we can create a world where neurodivergent individuals thrive alongside their neurotypical peers. Reflection and discussion How can schools and workplaces better support neurodivergent individuals? What are some potential challenges you think neurodivergent people face in daily life? And how can these be mitigated? Can you think of any famous individuals who are neurodivergent and how their traits may have contributed to their success?